Right, so I've got this new extension part on the bottom here. So these three weren't there before. And they're showing something a wee bit worrying. We need better control on the torsion. Uh, now see, see how they're twisted there? The top or the downgoing kites are pulling a bit more than the bottom kites are. And so they go squint at that point. The outer torsion lines, the ones on the rings, were a wee bit loose compared to the central lifting line. So I took the kite down and tied the point where it lifts on the lifting line higher up to tighten up the outside lines. So if we were releasing down there and following properly as well, I've got to get the tilt on that right, that might well be playing into it too. Let me release that bottom, see how that follows. Um, yeah, if we had better control over the torsion and following, I think that wouldn't be so bad. Another possible way to stop these lower ring sections twisting over like that would be to have more infill from the rings into referencing the center line above and below each ring. So you'd have these extra six green lines uh, going top and bottom. And that would probably stop the twisting over. Okay, I've trimmed down a lot of the lines um, from this section and this section, so it's a lot cleaner up there now. Looks like it's running quite nicely and still quite smooth and flat. And down on the bottom here, uh, there's a longer extension on the torsion tube. Uh, yeah, it was running, that was going a wee bit squint at the start, but now with more, I put a bit more tension on the outside lines, and that seems to be staying a wee bit more in line and flat. So yeah, it's running quite well. Okay, I've said that a few times now, but I'm finally going to take out the uh, the middle lines between these two kites. So it might be that this lower ring gets pinched in a wee bit more and the, the kites are further out, I reckon is what's going to happen. Yeah, it's quite a, quite a strong wind to be trying this, so I'm not sure if I'm going to break anything. We'll find out. I'll turn the torsion down before I do much. That's only three lines now between the top ring and the bottom ring. That one and that one, and it's running sweet as. And they both look set really well. Um, yeah, no complaints with how they're sitting. It's running lovely. Yeah, lovely. I'm getting a wee bit concerned that uh, that front bearing in front here is getting a bit jippy and so the whole mount's getting a bit shaky. And that brake's going on, it's not great. It's got to change. I mean, it's running over. It's 105 watts at the moment. Um, there's a heck of a tension on that, so I don't want that to be so bad. I'm going to stick another, I'm going to change the whole setup soon, I reckon. It's been running quite sweet with just the three lines from the top section to the bottom one. Uh, six all the way down. Bottom. Uh, put some more torsion on. It's running over 100 watts anyway. Yeah, crank it up a bit and see how it goes. Okay, the braking setup was a bit dodgy today. It started making all sorts of noises, and that's what ended up. So we're still all tied on and the, the whole top section's all fine. But uh, yeah, lost one of those rings. Um, really this, this whole braking thing's no good. 